well, 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 it looks like Bud Light is not the only one that's getting woke and going broke. Apparently, we have competition amongst the beer companies. And you know what's crazy to me? I cannot believe that out of all the things that could provide immense amounts of content for me to produce, the one thing I didn't think that would produce it would be beer companies. But apparently, they are are definitely content making gold mines right now. Now, what am I talking about? Well, obviously you guys are probably aware of this by now, but Miller Lite has decided to join Bud Light in creating controversy amongst their brand. Now with Bud Light, they decided to go the woke route with the transgender ideology. With Miller Lite, they decided to go with the feminist ideology. So this is the newest trailer or the newest ad, I should say, that was released by Miller Lite. We're gonna break it down and also go over a quick article going over everything so of course before we do guys just consider giving this video a like to push us out into the youtube algorithm and subscribe to the channel because we are on our way to 18,000 subscribers let's get into this horrendous horrendous truly horrendous video <laughs> let's get into it here's a little known fact women were among the very first to brew beer ever the moment she came out i was like already annoyed from Mesopotamia to the Middle Ages to colonial America, women were the ones doing the brewing. Just like a typical feminism, women do everything. Women have created everything. Women invented the world. This is essentially the mindset that most modern day feminism have. And you know what's funny? Before we continue, and I promise I won't pause too much, but before we continue, I think it's hilarious to me that the feminists want to come out and try to claim beer but you guys won't fight for your own against your own erasure in the social space because trans women are trying to take over for real, real women. You guys are completely silent and you're gone on that whole argument. But you want to come out and try to say, oh, you're the founding fathers or women of beer and complain that they were advertised with bikinis. It's ridiculous. Let me just play the video. Centuries later, how did the industry pay homage to the founding mothers of beer? They put us in bikinis. Wow. Wow. Look at this shit. wild. It's time beer made it up to women. So today, Miller Lite is on a mission to clean up not just their shit, but the whole beer industry's shit. So just like most modern day feminists, they want to be as unladylike as possible because to them, their ideology says that in order to be empowered, in order to be accepted in society, you have to act like a man, speak like a man, walk like a man, do everything like a man. So here she is cursing up a storm to seem hip and cool and manly. And on top of that, she's walking like a fucking dude. It's ridiculous. Miller Lite has been scouring the internet for all this and buying it back so that they can turn it into good for women brewers. Literally good shit. How you ask? Ladies, take it away. First, we turn the bad sh into compost. Then we feed compost to worms. Push out beautiful fertilizer. That good sh helps farmers grow quality hops, which is then donated to women brewers to make their own really good sh But there's definitely more sh out there. Isn't it amazing how every single woman that was showcased in this video literally just doesn't look very ladylike? They're all very very masculine, overly masculine. They're even dressed down. None of them want to showcase themselves as beautiful women anymore. Because again, if you're considered a beautiful woman, if you're showcased in bikinis and whatnot, you're clearly doing it for the male gaze. That's the only thing you're doing it for. You're not doing it for your own self-respect or your own self-view of your body of whatever. No, you're not doing it for that. And a lot of feminists, they hate women like this. That's why they hired someone like this, because these people cannot stand these kind of people, because these kind of people, they're fun. They love being beautiful. They love being themselves. These people are too busy trying to pretend to be men in a male dominated space, usually, and they have to walk around with a chip on their shoulder half the time. It's ridiculous. In your attic, in the garage, in your parents' basement, send any shit you got into Miller Lite, and they'll turn that into good shit, too. Oh. So here's to women, because without us, there would be no beer. I can't stand this. I cannot stand the feminists trying to take claim to something. And they do this all the time. They try to make women the founding fathers of everything. Even when it clearly wasn't, they try to make the claim that women are the ones that invented X, Y, Z. It's ridiculous.
So this ad was posted to Twitter as of today at the time of this filming. And honestly, it's just ridiculous. It's what you would expect typically from feminists. And I have this article pulled up from the Daily Mail that says, it's time beer made it up to women. Miller Lite apologizes for using women in bikinis to sell beer after campaigns featuring Sofia Vergara, Meghan Markle, and Pamela Anderson. New ad echoes woke Dylan Mulvaney controversy. Everybody's doing the comparison that you would pretty much expect of these days because listen now that the whole garbage has happened it's pretty much to be expected that the comparisons between Bud Light and Miller Light are gonna be astronomical and I don't know why would want to do this at this point in time like if you want to go woke you should do it around a time where people are not massively pissed right that way the backlash would be as minimal as humanly possible but you decided to jump in when people are at their peak in terms of pissed off against Bud Light so you just had to get some of that action because these companies really do think that the neg negative press is going to help them somehow garner more sales and if you guys saw my last video about how Bud Light is down everywhere in every state in the entire country um, Miller Lite should really be watching themselves before they put out something like this. So it says Miller Lite has apologized for its history of advertisements featuring women in bikinis with a woke commercial. In the one minute and 30 second spot posted online, online comedian uh, Ilana Glazer says it's time beer made it up for women as she touted women's role in the brewing process going all the way back to early civilization. She explained in the commercial that Miller Lite created a campaign for Women's History Month in March to buy up old marketing materials to turn them into compost, which could be used to make fertilizer. That fertilizer would then be donated to female hops farmers, and the hops grown from recycled materials would be sent to female brewers. The Bad Crap Turns to the Good Crap campaign came ahead of its rival's Bud Light's disastrous Dylan Mulvaney ad featuring the transgender TikTok star drinking out of a beer can with his face on it. The company has since lost more than $6 million in market capitalization, and a marketing executive criticized Bud Light for losing touch of its audience. Now, some are saying the same about Miller Light, and they should. They absolutely should. There's no reason why there should not be a comparison between Bud Light and Miller Light. If you really think that this crap is a great idea, I don't, I don't, why are these companies so out of touch with their client base? I don't get it. Like, why are you so out of touch with your customers? You cut your customers are mostly not women. You should know this. You should have the demographics of sales for your business. I guarantee you, most of your customers are not women. Most of your customers are men. And you're out here using feminists to promote beer. Like, what is wrong with you? I just don't understand who is hiring these people. Why did you do? You're so stupid. You must be allergic to money. These guys have to be allergic to money. It says in Miller Lite's commercial, which debuted on March 7th, Glazer rips the company for its history of campaigns featuring scantily clad women. Here's a little known fact. Women were amongst the very first to brew beer ever. She begins, centuries later, how did the industry pay homage to the founding mothers of beer? They put us in bikinis. The comedian showed us off the company's old posters and cardboard cutouts with the female's faces now pixelated, saying, look at this shit wild it's time beer made it up to women the broad city star continued so today miller light is on a mission to clean up not just their crap but the whole beer industry's crap oh so the feminists are gonna come and save the day that's clearly what's gonna happen because that's always what happens right feminists always come and save the day they don't just make things worse all the time they clearly make everything better I just can't stand this feminine feminism mindset. And honestly, feminism is what started to ruin everything because it started with feminists and then it became general wokeness that was created from feminism. And on top of that, now women are being erased. That's how much feminism is doing for women. You guys are being erased before your eyes and you're staying silent on that, but you're too busy trying to take beer away from men. That's what you're trying to do because men are just not allowed to enjoy anything. Men are not allowed to be creators of everything, anything, even though they are basically the creators of everything they're not allowed to do that women have to be the center and the forefront of all the attention including feminist women that clearly get no dick it says glazer noted that the company has been busy buying up some of those old marketing materials online to convert them into compost for female hops farmers to grow more than 1,000 pounds of hops that would then be sent to female brewers but then she said there's definitely more crap out there in your attic in your garage in your parents basement oh we're doing the whole mommy's basement thing oh wow Oh, wow. I wonder how long it took for you to think of that one. That's how that's how lacking of creativity they, they have that they're doing a mommy's basement joke. That's how bad we're talking about. Send any crap you have to Miller Lite and they'll turn that into good crap too, Glazer pledged. I guarantee you're going to get a lot of people sending their Miller Lite cans and bottles back to you because they're not going to buy your product anymore. This is going to be disastrous. It says, so here's to women because without us, there would be no beer. Yeah, clearly Clearly, there will be no beer. I can't stand the lies. Like, why are you lying to yourself? Why? Why are you doing this? Why are you lying to everybody else? Like, just stop. 
just honestly stop. Nobody's believing your shit, honestly. And you guys just look pathetic. You really do. There's so many other battles feminism should be fighting right now. Trying to take over the beer industry is not one of them. So anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you did enjoy it. If you did, consider leaving me a subscribe. I would greatly appreciate it. Don't forget to like the video, comment, let me know what you thought, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Hypnotic out.